Hi, I'm Marisa. I'm one of the advisors with the San Diego Small Business Development Center here located at our National City Campus. We do free one-on-one -on -one advising sessions with clients. That could be you. In this segment with uh, helping your gig economy get started, I'll be doing a little diagram of kind of the cycle that you're going to be going on as you start your journey with starting a new business. So let's begin. So first, when you have your business, you have your idea. That's gonna be right here. That's your business, that's your idea. And then the next step is planning. You wanna make sure that you're planning correctly for how to get your business up and running. And that is taking a look at markets. Who's gonna be your target market? Who are you selling to? And that comes into play customers and selling. Do you have a product? Do you have a service? What are you gonna be doing? How are you going to be fixing your finances? That's gonna be a huge one. And then while you're doing that, budget. You definitely wanna make sure that you have a budget so that you're not going over, but you're not limiting yourself as well. All the while, keeping accurate records and bookkeeping. You wanna make sure that everything is documented, that you're keeping on track, and nothing is falling by the wayside. Last part of that is pricing. A lot of people don't think about pricing just because they're like, okay, I have a product, I have a service, this is the set price that I wanna do, but they're not accounting for travel time, materials that are gonna be used. That's gonna be another video, shameless plug. So pricing. After that, you have to file for your fictitious business name with the county that you were living in. That's gonna be your company's name. After that, from the federal, area, your FEIN, that's going to be your business's social security number. And that's with the IRS. After that, you can open up your business banking account, which you want to keep completely separate from your other accounts, just so that it's completely separate from your day-to-day -day regular debit and credit card. <clears throat> then you'll get a seller's permit because you're making sales and that comes from the state and your business tax certificate with the city. This is gonna be your business license. Once all of those are done, now's the fun part. You'll start going on different platforms to see, you know, who are you gonna be marketing to? What different outlets can you market with? And that heads into referrals. Are you getting referrals? Who's referring to you, et cetera? bids and bidding, sales and proposals. Are you gonna be proposing your services to different companies or different people? Receivables and billing, money coming into you and money leaving. Who owes you money? Who do you owe money to? That's a huge part. Who's paying you? How are you getting paid? Tracking your finances and banking. Another really good one because Taxes are coming up and oh, last one, filing your taxes. That is huge. All businesses need to make sure that they're doing things properly and that you're doing the exact steps so that you're a legitimate business. And then what's really cool about this is since you've already done all of those, that's a one-time thing that you're gonna need to do. But what's a constant is after you file taxes, moving right back down to platforms and you start the whole cycle all over again with this area. I know that this seems a little overwhelming. If you need a little bit more one-on-one -on -one advising time, feel free to hit us up on our website at sandiegospdc.org where you can request a counseling session with one of our fabulous advisors. We have them for any type of needs that you um, and your business are looking for. Like and subscribe to our page. For more information, check us out on the links below. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter.